On Saturday, July 27th, Sam Torres and the 440 Sports Show held the 4th Annual Ashtabula County Football Combine at the beautiful Lakeside Dragons Football Stadium in Ashtabula, Ohio. 80 participants took place in different events, including the shuttle, the bench press, the 40-yard dash. The standing broad jump. The vertical jump. And the medicine ball toss. Although I wasn't able to speak to all the coaches there, I did have the opportunity to interview these four gentlemen. I'm here with Elijah Wong Cooper at the Ashtabula County 440 Sports Show Combine. Elijah Wan, new season, new people. What's going on for you guys? Uh, the same old, same old for us um, as a means to build the program. Um, I think myself and the coaching staff um, in our community have done a great job of setting the foundation um, that now our young guys, uh, we're a little young this year, but they've set the foundation for our young guys to be able to stand on. So. Um, even though we're going to be, we're going to have an influx of, of younger players playing, um, inexperienced players playing, um, the foundation is there. Um, so the expectation is to be successful no matter what. Um, we're never going to, we're never going to consider inexperience um, as an excuse as to why we're not successful. So I'm excited about this group um, because they have the pedigree and they they were around um, probably our most winning this our winning this class in Edgewood football history. Sure. Um, so they understand what it takes. Um, they may ha not have done it physically, but the blueprint has been laid mentally. So um, I'm excited for this group. Um, I, I feel like we have everything we need to be successful. Okay, are we ready for the 7-on-7 uh, seven seven here today? Oh, absolutely. It's got a local feel today, so our kids are pretty excited. Um, this is not going to be one of those 7-on-7s seven that we got to we gotta get them uh, pumped up for. They're going to be pumped up um, when it starts, and that's really all we can ask for. So okay, looking and you, forward to a great day of competition. Yeah, and you get to check out the competition somewhat, and I'm sure they'll be checking you out. Yep, absolutely. All absolutely. right, should be fun. Yes, sir. Good luck this season. We'll see you later. Yes, sir. Thank you very much. I'm here with head coach Bob Delgosh of the St. John Herald's football team. Bob, you've been head coach for about five years. Do you see things really starting to turn around like everyone else does? Yeah, I really do. Um, in my five years and really my, my 10 years with the program, uh, we had our best June and July in terms of attendance, guys coming out. Um, I think we're going to have the biggest football team in terms of numbers and size, really. Um, Maybe since the last time we made the playoffs, uh, maybe even a few more kids than that. So that's exciting. Okay, and the offense is looking to be pretty explosive this year. Yeah, I mean we got a lot of um, a lot of seniors, and um, we saw them improve all year last year. And by by the end of the season, things were really clicking on all cylinders. There's no reason to think that won't um, take another step this year. Okay, well, going to be a exciting season. I know Sammy's going to be covering a lot yeah, of your games. Yeah. I'll be looking forward to catching up when I can. I'll be over at Edgewood. So good luck and thank you very much. Well, I appreciate that a lot, thank you. All right. We're here at the Ashtabula County 440 Sports Show Combine with Ryan Croston, head coach for the Pima Tuning Valley Lakers. Coach, got a lot of pretty good team coming back this year, don't you? Yeah, I mean, we were eight and four last year. Uh, we had a lot of juniors and sophomores, only lost one senior. So we got a good mixture of uh, linemen and backs receivers. Okay, all right. and. Uh, you did well in the conference in your conference too, didn't you? Yeah, we've won our conference the last four or five years in a row. Uh, made the playoffs the last four years in a row. Last year we beat uh, Crestview, uh, week one of the playoffs, and then uh, we lost second round to Mogador. And Mogador is a big name in in Northeast Ohio. Football. Yeah, they definitely. You know, we played them two out of the last three or four years, and uh, they're a tough team. We were with them, but uh, you know, hopefully we'll improve and uh, get another chance against them. Okay, and uh, first game little revenge yeah I mean it's I mean <laughs> you know good thing is last year that was came down the base of the last play right uh, we were right there it's been a good battle with middle uh, middle Ridge the last couple of years 
Uh, so yeah, I mean, it's good focus point. Don't want to look ahead past week one. So yeah, we got them at our place. Uh, our kids are definitely going to be ready for that one. All right. Well, thank you very much for this. Good luck this year. All right. Thank you. Thank you. I'm here with Terry Hinton, head coach of the Lakeside Dragons. This has been the Ashtabula County 440 Sports Show Combine. Terry, yes, new year, new team. Tell me your thoughts. Uh, about our team, um, you know, we uh, old habits die, die hard. Uh, we're still in the middle of, of trying to figure out who we are. Um, some days are great, some days aren't. Uh, we just got to show up when, when it's time to show up. Um, I'm proud of, of the work we put in so far, but we just didn't show it today. Uh, we only get one opportunity is on do-overs. Uh, we showed a few times today that we were looking for a do-over, and there's no do-overs in, in football. Um, I commend all the teams that came out here today. It was a, a beautiful day, beautiful day for football. 4-4 four, four on goal, put on a great thing. Um, all the teams look good. Uh, everybody's here is, is a lot more talented than we have been in the past, uh, and I think it's in the, it's an attest, attestment to uh, how hard these boys are working. Yeah, I think uh, the Chagrin Valley Lake Division is going to be exciting today. I really think you guys got a good shot at taking it all, but, you know, you got to play the cards you're dealt and uh, yeah. lay them on the table and see how it all shakes out. I wish you the best of luck, though, hey, okay? I appreciate everything you do. Thank you. Thank you. All right. So first things first, I want to tell each and every one of you athletes, each and every one of you volunteers, everybody who came out, the crowd who came out today, everybody who supported, I want to tell you thank you. Um, I'd like to put a hand together for the coaches and everybody who set this up with me. Without those guys' help, we couldn't be doing this today. So let's put it together for them. Let's go. All right, now it's time for some hardware. And we're going to start off with the bench press. Um, we're going to start off with the team, or actually we'll go with the individual bench press. And taking it together, or, or taking it at the very end, is Jefferson's Matthew Webster. Yes. Woo! Matthew Woo! Matthew. 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 29 reps on that bench. Right behind him is PV's John Finello with 28. This was a great competition. All right, and then we are going to go to the team. Now, I want to tell you guys, um, the team numbers this year were incredible. So this is the fourth year that we've done this bench press. And the first year that we did this bench press, we only had one team that, w that had over 100 reps on the bench. This year, we had four teams with over 100 team reps on the bench. So that's incredible. Give yourself a hand on that. You boys are working. But in first place, with 171 reps on the bench, it's the boys from the south part of the county, PV and over the Lakers. So um, these ones do not have awards, these next ones, but I do want to let you guys know who ran the fastest um, for the day um, in the shuttle today. Your fastest shuttle was J. Anthony Williams with a four, or I'm sorry, not J. Anthony Williams, Josiah Pope with a 425. 425. For the med ball throw, it was PV's Ryan Croston. Ryan, Ryan Croston threw it 28 feet 9 inches. This is the third year in a row Croston has won that event. And also for the third year in a row on the broad jump is PV's Ryan Croston winning again this year with nine foot six. So the fastest team this year, the way your 40 times were calculated, everybody ran the 40. All those times were added together and divided by who participated. So this year's fastest team in the county for the second year in a row is the Pine Matuni Valley Lakers with an average time of five flat. Well, we've had a couple awards that have been given to the same people. This is the first time this has ever happened. In the 40 yard dash, we had a tie. Braden Chenault 
and Devin Miller okay. both ran a 464. We got one trophy in two times, which means we got a race. The day's competitions culminated with a seven-on-seven -seven contest between five of the teams with Pima Tuning Valley coming out on top. Here are some highlights. <laughs> 